Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. I took my love and I took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. And I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hills Till the landslide brought me down Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? And can the child within my heart rise above? And can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I Handle the seasons of my life. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, I've been afraid of changing because I built my life around you. But time makes you bolder, even children get older. And I'm getting older too. Yeah, hell yeah, I am. I'm getting older too. Well, I've been afraid of changing because I built my life around you. Even children get older, and I'm getting older too. Oh, I'm getting older too. I should stop it there, but I take my love and I take it down. Okay, guys, hey, welcome to Bells Vargas. My name is Amy. That was not the best rendition. However, classic, classic song. I know you guys will be singing that all day, right? Because it's the best. I took my love and I took it down. Yeah, it's a great song. Um, to the landslide brought me down. It's such a, have you ever really listened to the lyrics of that song? Mm, they're so good. Like one of my favorite lines is, can I handle the seasons of my life? Okay, I'm not sure which season I'm in, but I'm pretty sure it's not like the new sprout growth part. I'm like an old tree with lots of rings in the middle. Very big trunk. <laughs> All right, so obviously that is Landslide by Fleetwood Mac, but did you guys know that the Dixie Chicks, now they're just the chicks, but the Dixie Chicks did a rendition of that. Super good. If you haven't heard it, you should look that one up. All right, so hey, today is Totally Easy Tuesday, and normally I would do a craft, but I'm not doing a craft today because I'm getting ready to start the 25 days of Christmas, so I'm going to have 25 straight days of crafts. So today is a collab with Bargain Mama, Amy from Bargain Mama, and we are doing five for five. So it's five gift baskets for $5. So this is kind of fun. It was really fun to do the hunt. Hey, if you're new to the channel, stick around. I think you're going to have some fun. Besties, make sure you give me a thumbs up right now. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new, please stick around. Consider subscribing because we have so much fun. And this is a Dollar Tree channel. So everything is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree in most stores is still just a dollar. However, if you go to a Dollar Tree Plus... They're up to $5. And if you go to the ones that they're trying out for the buck 25, they're about 25. So one of my subscribers, Wanda, said, she found out that they are trying a buck 25 in some stores and they're seeing how it goes. I'm praying it doesn't work. Please don't work. Please keep it a dollar. A dollar, people. A dollar. I'm hoping that they'll just keep it a dollar and instead push more for the Dollar Tree Plus so we can still go in and find our fines for a dollar. All right, so... The collab today. Oh, by the way, FYI, we also do a subscribers challenge on this channel every month. And so last month we did a donation for a child or you made a gift for a child and we donated it. sort of a little community project. I'll be putting that video together this weekend so you can see what everybody else did. And, um, but this month the challenge is to make an angel. I know it's Christmas time and I know everybody's doing Christmas crafts, but I don't, I think angels aren't necessarily Christmas. Like angels are about so many things. You know, I mean, we, angels for us are so positive. Like you think of when somebody dies, they become your angel. So I don't think it's totally surrounded by Christmas. However, 
it is December, so it'd be pretty easy to find some angel stuff. And the, the subscriber challenge this month is to make an angel and to only use Dollar Tree stuff to make your angel. So if you don't know what the subscriber challenge is, it's where you make a craft and then you send me the photos of your craft and I do a video of all of my besties and the crafts that they made. So this month's challenge is an angel and I see angels in so many different ways. There's snow angels, there's heavenly angels, there's our people that pass on that are angels, there's animal angels. I'm pretty sure my dog dude is still around me. Anyway, so however you perceive an angel, make one, share it with me and I'll put it on my video. At the end of the month, I ask you guys to send it to me on the last Saturday of the month, which happens to be Christmas this month. So you can send it the day before if you want. But anyway, I hope a bunch of you get involved and make an angel. All right, but today, let's talk about today. So today is, normally it's Totally Easy Tuesday, which is crafting for the non-crafter. But tomorrow, I'm starting 25 days of Christmas and I'll be doing a craft every day in December. Um, some of them easy, some of them a little more difficult. And every day you're gonna get a craft for me. So I have to make 25 Christmas crafts. That's easy, that's totally easy. I love Christmas, by the way, so it's perfect for me. Um, so that starts tomorrow, so tune in for that and be looking for that every day, which means my normal uploads probably aren't gonna happen. So normally my uploads would be Totally Easy Tuesday, Crafting for the Non-Crafter, Theme Thursday, which is where I do crafts with a theme, Foodie Friday, which is where I do Dollar Tree food reviews, and Shopping Saturdays, which is a Dollar Tree shopping haul. So I'm still gonna do my hauls, so you get two videos on Saturday. Foodie Fridays, I might squeeze one or two in, because I make Marcus do those with me. If you don't know who Marcus is, he's the really handsome pirate I married two weeks ago. And then um, Thursdays are out the window and Tuesdays because I'm doing crafts every day. But every once in a while, I would throw in a wild Wednesday, probably not in December because I'll be doing the crafts, but look forward to that in January. All right, so today is five, five gift, gift baskets for $5. Now, the operative word there is basket. None of mine today have a basket, but we call them gift baskets because we put together gifts and we give them to somebody and we call them a gift basket. Traditionally, it's in a basket, not these. I'm gonna guess Amy's aren't from Bargain Mama, hers aren't either. By the way, her video will be linked down below. So I encourage you to go over and watch hers and make a comment on hers, leave her a thumbs up and her people will come over and watch mine, hopefully make a comment and leave a thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna dive right in. So basically what you're getting tonight is a haul and then and these gift baskets. So I have 25 items because I made five for $5. What this is about, they're not necessarily Christmas gifts, but obviously they can be, but it's really just about showing you that you can go into the Dollar Tree and find some really cool stuff and make really sweet little gifts. If you work in an office and you have people that you want to give something to, $5 is really not that much and you can give them something substantial um, or a neighbor or you know a friend, whatever and it can be for birthdays or anything. But because we're in the holiday season, we're all thinking Christmas gifts, right? By the way, it is late at night for me. It's like 10 o'clock at night, but I work today and I literally just got home from work. So <laughs> I'm doing the video tonight, but I was ready. So this says, I'm not answering that. I'm just showing you the cup. Mm-hmm. All right, and I literally have no makeup on except lipstick. You guys don't care. Literally, you don't care. All right, there's a few things I want to um, talk about today. Tomorrow, I do have some happy mail to share tomorrow. So I'm not going to do that today because I just want to get through this. And then tomorrow, I'm going to share some happy mail. Happy meal? Happy mail. What do, what do I call it? Um, I had to walk away. Bestie, bestie boxes. I've got some bestie boxes, which I want to share tomorrow. But... I'm going to share one little personal thing today because I think this is so cute. So those of you that have been watching, you know, I did the whole countdown for my wedding. And so, um, so I had this sign always in the background, like counting down the wedding. I'm now going to change it to Christmas because tomorrow I start 25 days of Christmas. So I'll be counting down to Christmas and the 25, um, crafts that I do for you. But my granddaughter was here for the wedding. She's so cute, Scarlett. So... I had taken this down and it was sitting on my desk. And today I walk over there and look at it because I was gonna start my 25 days. And I found this. It says, I love you, Scarlett. I kinda wanna keep it, but I'll take a picture. Like, how cute is that? She left, left a note, said, I love you, Scarlett. She didn't show it to me, she just left it so that I would find it. 
If you're watching Scarlett, I love you too. Bella loves you. Thank you for the note. All right, so let's dive in. So the first one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show them to you, then I'm gonna put them together and show you them all done, but I'm not gonna show you how I put them together because it's pretty simple. You'll understand once you see it. All right, so I walked into the Dollar Tree and I found a new product. You know I love new products because then it's like, yes, I can make something with that. So this is from Be Pure. So it's distributed by Four Star Group USA. So I don't think this is Greenbrier or Dollar Tree, uh, but maybe, I don't know what I'm talking about, it's possible. So these are called Night Eye Gel Pads. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? Is I love this blue. I think it's incredibly beautiful. And so I found these three products and that started me. So this is Night Eye Gel Pads. This one is Sleep Lotion. So Sleep Lotion, apply lotion before bed for a peaceful night's rest. And it's lavender and chamomile. And it is two fluid ounces. So I love this Sleep Lotion. We're gonna smell it. What do you think? Let's smell. I can't. It's can't. I'm not opening it because I'm giving it away. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Maybe I'll buy some for myself. All right. So we have the eye gel pads, the sleep lotion, and then this. I love this stuff. I actually have something else that I use and I spray on my bed, but I'm going to, I didn't buy one for myself. Why? Why, Amy? Why? I don't know. Effingham, don't talk back to me. The cow is interjecting because he always says, mmm. So this is called pillow mist. And it's the lavender and chamomile also. So you lightly mist over bed linens to create a calming sleep environment. So many things are going through my head right now. I'm not going to say them. Okay, so again, let's talk about the packaging here. I love this blue. I love the packaging. I love the moon there. I think it's really beautiful and really high-end looking. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, that's the start of my basket. So then since it's sleep, I went and found ah, a gel eye mask. Okay, so stayed in the blue family, right? And I was thinking like, okay, so when I go to sleep and I want a peaceful night's rest, right now is winter time. I don't know about you guys. Tell me, tell me down below in the comments if you wear socks to bed during the winter. I do, my feet get so cold. So they have the Snuggadoos, which are great socks. And so I decided, ooh, I'm gonna get a pair of socks, and guess what this is gonna become? My basket. So I'm actually gonna take the socks apart, roll them down, and so they're like, they like cause a little pocket, put these things on, and put a little bow. This is gonna be super adorable, super cute, and a nice $5 gift. So cute. So when, I, when Amy and I do this, like it's funny, because we both do the same thing. Like we try and make whatever our container is be useful, well, for $5, you need that that $1 for your container has to be super useful. So what a great thing with socks. And look at the look at the colors on this. It's going to look amazing. So I'll put that together for you guys after after I show you everything, then I'll put it together and come back and show you that. Mm. The next one. So that was one dollar tree actually that I found that at. So this weekend we did a day run out to our property to winterize the RV that's out there. So I stopped at a Dollar Tree that I don't know, normally go into. It was the worst, like the worst Dollar Tree I've ever been in my life. There was one woman working there I felt so sorry for. It was, it was not stocked. It was a mess. I mean, to find anything, it was a mess. It was just a mess. Let's just say it was the worst. And I'm thinking they obviously are understaffed. You know, I'm sure they had product in the back that wasn't being put on the shelves because the shelves were empty. But I'm like, no, Amy, you're going to do it. You're going to find a $5 gift basket here. I did. So I found this. I love these jars. So they're like the, they're just a jar and they have a top on it with like a slit. So it's like a, you know, a savings jar. So this one says snack savings. So I was like, I got this snack savings. I think this would be a super cute gift for like a teen or a preteen or even a young adult who, you know, loves to have their junk food and maybe they're living on a budget. So having a snack saving jar might be a good idea. And then, so what I did was I went and looked for the largest snacks I could find for a dollar. Now, mind you, this is my container, right? So I know I'm dealing with this. So first I found the peanut butter white Reese's cups. I was like, oh, perfect. 
We're gonna get some height on this now. Then I found the Rice Krispies Double Chocolatey Chunk, another tall one. I was like, oh, not gonna fit. I'm gonna make everything fit. And so I was like, okay, wait, look at that, boom. Then um, this is the Mamba, which are the 24 fruit chews. By the way, these are really good. I've got them, I've, I've purchased them for the grandkids. I'm like also tall and lanky, so I can get that in there. I had to put the jar down to get it in there. But I'm gonna show you guys. And I don't need it to go all the way in. I just need to get it in there to stay. And then I found the beef and cheese sticks, which these are really good. And I was like, so this is perfect. It's like a cute little snack jar, right? And it says snack savings. Now what I'm gonna do when I put this together, I'm gonna run a ribbon through the lid and tie the lid on here. And there we have our little $5 gift. So cute, so simple, so easy. And who wouldn't love to get this? And the container, my basket is also a gift. All right, so then I went down another aisle, this same store, this same store that was so messy. And they had an end cap of all the Armor All stuff. Now we've seen all the Armor All stuff. It's always in the men's aisle or the, the guy's aisle. I don't know, the home improvement aisle. What would, we, what would we call that? Cause I think I shop that aisle a lot and I'm not a guy, but anyway, it's the, it's the tool. How about the tool aisle? Mm. I've shopped a lot of tools in my life. I married the last one. <laughs> that okay but what I found was and I love these and I've actually I bought these once before my son got a new car and I sent him a whole package for his car I think these are super cute first of all it's armor all so it's a brand name we know we love armor all this is armor all the glass cleaner these are four fluid ounces so these are small bottles the glass cleaner wait did I get two glass Amy I got two glass cleaners that's okay I'll switch it um, before I give the gift, but there's another one. So there's glass cleaner. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I made a mistake. That's okay. We're going to forgive me. There's the multi-purpose cleaner and there's the tire shine. So just pretend that these are two different ones. One's glass cleaner and something else. By the way, if they don't have a fourth one, you could put a car air freshener and it would be great. Um, anything else that would go in this. And then I bought some cleaning towels. So if you're going to clean your car, you need some towels to do it. This becomes my basket, right? So I'm going to take my two, my two towels out of the package. I'm going to bundle them up, put the stuff in it and tie it with a bow. You'll see when I show it to you. So I can't believe I bought two glass cleaners. Wow. Well, I was in a hurry. So, but that's okay. Like I said, if there wasn't a fourth one, I'm trying to remember what they all are now, right now. I can't, but what I would do is instead just include, and actually I'll go get one because I have one. I'll take this out and I'll include an air freshener for the car, which would work perfect, right? So that's $5, great gift for a teenager who's driving a car now or anybody, anybody that drives a car, it's kind of a cool gift. It's a great gift to give a guy, absolutely great gift to give a guy and they love Armor All. Then I went a different direction. Now this, this $5 gift I got tonight when I went to a Dollar Tree that's um, on my way home from work and it's one I don't go to all the time. It's a fairly new Dollar Tree, but it's not a great Dollar Tree. Um, and they're set, it's weird because this Dollar Tree is set up different than every other Dollar Tree I go into. Their, their aisles are mixed up. So like the socks are on the same aisle as the tools. Like it's really messed up. And the cats, the animal stuff is on the same aisle as like the food containers. It's, I don't know who set the store up, but it doesn't matter. So I found some new candles and I was like, this is perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna to talk to you about these candles a little bit. First of all, this is a soy blend scented candle. And this is, um, it's a Greenbrier product, but I love the packaging and, um, and they smell really good. So this one is called Snow and Ice. This one is Cup of Cheer. So we're sticking with sort of the winter theme. This one is a great Christmas gift, by the way. Um, this one is cranberry and carrots currants sorry cranberry and currants it's currants i'm like that's odd uh this one is cranberry and sage okay so we got these four and then they these four were this style and they didn't have a fifth one 
but they had this one, which is apple and cinnamon. So I thought, well, it's red, it's apple and cinnamon, so it's totally holiday. So I'm going to pile all these up in a tower and wrap them in a bow. And it's super great gift for $5, $5. Now listen, I'm not including the cost of the bows, right? First of all, if you're anything like me, when you get gifts from other people, you save the bows. Like I have a, I have a tote, a uh, little container thing full of bows that come off of packages. They're beautiful bows and I reuse them on, on other things to give away. Am I the only one? Tell me right now, comment. Do you reuse bows and bags? Of course, who doesn't? So, um, so this would be something that I would probably take a bow that was a really pretty bow and use it on. I'm gonna use only Dollar Tree for this so that you can see that, but just as an FYI, you could do that. All right, so let's go over this. I have my sleep, sleep one going in socks, my snack one going in jars. Oh, I'm missing one. It's so late. I have my car one. I can't believe I didn't put the fifth one up here. Going in this, and then I have my candle. That, and then my candles, and this, that makes four. So the fifth one is, I'm laughing right now because I paused to go get my gift, the fifth one, which I didn't put up here for some reason. And Marcus is standing here talking to the camera like he's recording, but he didn't have a shirt on. I'm like, you would never record without a shirt on. So say, say hello, Marcus. Hello, Marcus. There he is. Okay. So this is really outside the box, you guys, but I think you're really going to like it. All right. So I have this book and it's, you know, I love to pick up books from the Dollar Tree. So I picked this one in particular because I think it's like, it's good for so many people. This is a beautiful book and it's poems. Like the whole book is poems. Um, like there's just all these poems in here and it's Say Some by Maureen McLean. So it's a book full of poems. So if I were gonna, I've given book full of poems, book, I've given a book of poems before and normally what I would do is I would find a poem in the book that was appropriate to the person that I was giving it to and put a bookmarker in. So I would do that this with this too. But the bookmarker that I would use would be the ribbon that I'm gonna tie the book up with. All right, so it has to be somebody with glasses, like me. So you give them a book, and then on top of the book, an eyeglass holder, some eyeglass cleaner, right? How about an eyeglass repair kit? I'm not, I'll put it in there the right way in a little bit. And then some cleaning wipes. So I would wrap this all together and put, it, put, put a cute little tag on it that says like, clean your glasses and get ready to read some beautiful words or something like that. I'll come up with something that I would say with it when I tied it up. All right, so this is like just, a, listen, if you're not shopping the books at the Dollar Tree, you are missing something. This book, for instance, retailed for $24 and I got it for a buck. And I give it as, it's a beautiful gift to give somebody. It's a beautiful gift. So I really like this taking because we think of, you know, reading and putting on your eyeglasses. Lots of people wear glasses when they read. So it could be reading glasses, could be prescription. So to give them a nice little, um, you know, holder for their glasses. And by the way, these are nice holders. If you haven't seen these, I gotta take the stuff out of it, but they are the, they're the scrunch to open them. And this one is sort of a summer pattern, but it's super cool. And it actually, I think really goes well with this sort of plain dressing on this book. But what I want to show you is you can always remove the jacket from a book. Don't be tied to the jacket, leaving the jacket on. Because look what happens. Look at that vibrant color of that purple on this book. All right, so now I'm gonna wrap these up and show them to you all wrapped up. All right, let's see this all done. Okay, so first of all, I didn't put any tags on these, but remember, like your tag can be a huge part of the gift. So I love this. It looks like a little stocking, doesn't it? So I gotta tell you guys, what I did was there's two socks. So I turned one sock inside out. I stuffed it inside of the other one. So then when I rolled it down, I got the outside pattern of the sock, just a simple white bow. This is so pretty. And you could just put it on here. I wish you restful nights of sleep. If you knew somebody that was going through like a really stressful thing or something, like a nice little, hey, I hope you get some good rest, card or tag on it or something. 
So I love this. I think it came out super cute. So we have a pair of socks. We have the sleep lotion, the linen mist, the eye gel, uh, eye gel patches, and a sleep mask. So cute. All right. Then the next one was... <laughs> Mark's is putting away the ribbon. He wanted the lid that was left over there. Okay, baby. There you go. The next one was the snack one. Now... I get, obviously this is kept really simple, but again, I think like the tag that you put on here is going to say a whole bunch, like, um, sweets for my sweet or to help you save, to help you save up for that sweet tooth or all kinds of things that you could put on a tag. So I didn't put any tags on these, but again, I think the tag is a whole bunch to do with how the gift comes out. So I just used a simple ribbon and I just knotted this. So there's not even a bow. I just knotted the lid on there, right? Super cute, screams teenager to me, like a teenager survival kit or something. Anyway, I love that one. Then the car one. So I took the two towels, I put them on top of each other, put the tags to the back, FYI. So tags on both of those are to the back. I used a rubber band once I gathered it and then used the car ribbon, right? And this one, it'd be like, I know how, I know how much you love Betsy or whatever they call their car. So here's a little loving care for Betsy, something like that. I mean, so many things you could put on a tag. And this is so cute. Like, this is perfect little gift. $5, you guys. $5. $5, people. $5. Then the candles. All right. So what really I was really trying to show you is there's so many different ways that you can put these together. So gift basket, again, you don't have to be a gift basket. So this is a tower of candles, and I love this. But what I want to tell you guys is that I took a ribbon and I crisscrossed it so that this is this stays together, right? These are, you can pick it up and, and give it to somebody and it's not gonna come apart because I wrapped the ribbon around, crisscrossed, went the other way, knotted it, and then added a buffalo chuck bow on top. I think this is so cute. And um, again, your tag can be something about um, wishing you um, warm smells of the season, maybe, something like that, I don't know, anyway. I love this, and who doesn't love candles? Everybody loves candles. And then the last one is the book. So I did take the jacket off, but look at how cute this looks now. Obviously this is more birthday or maybe Mother's Day, or again, there's poems inside. So I didn't do it, but I would take a piece of this ribbon and tag um, a particular poem that I wanted and then put my tag, the gift tag, on the end of that ribbon so they would open it up and find it and just saying, um, you know, hey, sit by the fire, get cozy and and be inspired by poems. I'm, mm, I can't think of anything right now. Wow, wow, how unlike me, but I can't. But I think it's a really great idea to give a book and an eyeglass case and some eyeglass stuff to take care of your glasses while, while you're reading whatever the book may happen to be. So, and I love to pick books based on color because it's just, don't judge a book by its cover, but judge it by its color. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, I hope you like this. So one more, just for a recap. We have the sleeping one, which is, these are new products there at the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love this line. I love the look of it. I think it's super cool. Um, we have our snack one, which is just fun. You could totally do this Christmas because there's all kinds of Christmas snacks at Dollar Tree right now. So you could put Christmas snacks on it and do a Christmas ribbon. I was trying not to be specific to Christmas, because there obviously people have birthdays in December, people, lots of things happen in December, not just Christmas. And then the car one, which I love this, it made it Christmas by adding that truck ribbon on it. Super cute, I love this. And of course the candles, which I did sort of wrap more Christmassy and I actually picked very Christmas candles. I think this is a great, wonderful gift. I'm giving all of these away, FYI. I've made them, they're all being given away. And then the book one, which again is just, it's for so many things, but you could absolutely specifically do it to Christmas. And just because the color of the book is purple doesn't mean you can't make it Christmassy. There are Christmas, um, actually, this is a Dollar Tree wrapping paper that I got last year. So let me show you guys something. I'm gonna cut a piece of this wrapping paper right now. I'm just gonna cut a square out of it. So I'm gonna show you this really quickly. So I just cut a square of the wrapping paper, all right? Now I'm gonna fold it in half, and then I'm gonna fold it in half again, 
and I'm gonna cut strips. This is such a cool trick, you guys. So I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna let them fall. I'm just gonna cut strips like this, right? Just strips of the paper. Here's my craft on video. No rehearsal. Then you take the strip of the wrapping paper that you just cut and you leave your scissors closed and you go like this. You run it, of course it broke. Anyway, you run it on the paper, broke again. Anyway, it curly cues up, so watch this. So now, I'm gonna take these strips, I'm gonna curly cue them up. I'm gonna show you how I can make this book one look Christmassy. Because it's all in the wrapping paper that you pick to do this with, and what is, what's the color scheme of that wrapping paper? Because now, Christmas, you can do wrapping papers are in all different colors. They're not just red and green. They're all different colors, which is fun because it gives us a little few more options for doing Christmas wrapping. Um, I actually color coordinate all of my Christmas wrapping. <laughs> so if I have a gold tree, everything's gold. <laughs> like, I'm weird like that. And then I coordinate all of the grandkids' um, Christmas presents too so that they all have their gifts are in one specific paper. All right, I'm not gonna go any further. I'm just gonna show you this right now. But you can make this as big as you want. So now I pick up my curly cues and I just start piling them on top of each other like this. Like I sort of find the center and I match it in there. And by doing that, I create a bow basically out of wrapping paper. So it's a wrapping paper bow. I'm just doing this very quickly. It's not gonna be perfect, but you'll get the idea. So now I can take that book that was purple. I can tie this on top of it. Hold on while I tie it on. I'm just taking the ribbon that I already put on it. I'm tying this on. And now I've added Christmas wrapping paper to that to make it look like a Christmas gift. So FYI, wrapping paper makes phenomenal ribbon. If you don't have any ribbon, this is like the best thing ever. Cut it in strips and curly cue it. It's amazing. Um, I do it all the time. So I'll be in a rush to get a present wrapped and I don't wanna go find a matching bow out in my stash or I can't get to it because something's in the way. And then I make ribbon out of the wrapping paper. So there's your thing. All right, guys, I hope you like that. Please down below in the comments, let me know which one you like the best. All right, it was so much fun. I'm so curious to see what Bargain Mama did. Let's talk about last week when she did the saran wrap one. I wouldn't wanna unwrap that, I'm just saying, you know? All right. Now I'm going to finish my nightcap and go nighty night. Hope you guys enjoy this again. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think Bargain Mama and I, Amy, are you listening? I think the next time we're going to do a five, six, seven, eight, and nine, or is it six, seven, eight, nine, ten? We're going to do five, one for six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, right, Amy? I think we talked about this. I think that's what we're doing next. All right, so I hope you guys love this. It's really just trying to give you some ideas how you can walk into a Dollar Tree and you can come up with a gift and they're cool. Which one is your favorite? I actually really think my favorite is this one. I, I just love this. It's like you get a pair of socks and you get all this fun night stuff and it's super beautiful and looks super high end. All right, guys, um, have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. And don't forget, tomorrow starts 25 Days of Christmas and Crafts by Amy on Bella's Bargains. Bye, guys. Thanks, besties. Love ya.